This is Odyssey, the new electronic game simulator. You attach Odyssey to your television set in seconds to create a closed circuit electronic playground. Are you old enough Odyssey to remember when this sound first came into our Let living rooms? The game was Pong. Hockey. The year was 1972. Odyssey comes complete with 12 electronic games and educational experience. From that moment, childhood changed profoundly, but not necessarily for the better. Forty years later, children spend an average of more than nine hours a day looking at an electronic device in more than 90% of their time indoors. I love video games. As soon as I think about it, it's like immediately, I must get my video games. Hi, I'm Paul Tukey, and I'm old enough to remember when my mother would send me out the door in the morning with nothing more than a sandwich and a brown paper bag, with instructions only to be home by dinner time. We played outside all day, every day. Not wanting to relegate an old-fashioned outdoor childhood to memory, I co-authored a book, Tag, Toss, and Run, 40 Classic Lawn Games. A modern celebration of the greatest outdoor pastimes, co-written with one of my favorite all-time Hollywood actresses, Victoria Rowell. Now, you may remember her as Amanda Bentley on Diagnosis Murder with Dick Van Dyke, or maybe as the diva, Drusilla Winters on the soap opera, Young and the Restless. Well, today she's also one of America's leading children's advocates. You can um, have a great time playing games together outdoors in a healthy environment. All the classic favorites are in the book, from bocce, badminton and croquet, to capture the flag, kickball, kick the can, and blind man's bluff. We also comb the world for games that, though new to us, have been played for centuries in other cultures. From Coup, a classic strategic tossing game from Scandinavia. Or Sipak Takra, a dynamic kick volleyball contest from Asia, to Cherokee Marbles, Double Ball, and Mexican Kickball. Games that were played by Native Americans on this continent hundreds of years before the first settlers arrived. These games are for the young and young at heart. These are neighborhood games, playground games, and games that can be enjoyed by grandparents, parents, and their children, entire families. We included information about game setup and rules, as well as any equipment you might need, although many of the games won't even require a trip to the store to get started. Did you know that the longest putt in history traveled 300 feet straight into the hole? Or that tug of war used to be an Olympic sport? Or that the longest wheelbarrow race in history lasted 4,500 miles? Or that the largest game of capture the flag included 1,281 players? Victoria and I had a blast researching all sorts of game facts, making our book a great read as well as a great resource. I absolutely believe that we have the ability to re-infuse physical education, uh, not only at schools, because schools don't raise children, parents do. And it is incumbent upon parents uh, to inspire the idea of let's get back outside. Children are born with this incredible capacity to play, and it's an inborn mechanism that facilitates and nurtures problem solving and creativity and empathy and, and healing and the capacity to make meaning in life. You gotta live it, breathe it. Most of all, Tag, Toss, and Run is about having fun. It's about family get-togethers and backyard rivalries. It's about rolling around the grass and bonding with nature. It's about getting off the couch and getting back outside. <laughs>